Hey there, it's Colin Gray here from thepodcasthost.com and here I'm going to show you how to bring in music to a podcast episode and fade it in and out as you need to. Most common reason for this being really bringing in theme music at the start of your show that you want to fade out as the voice comes in and then vice versa at the end of the show you want the music to fade in over the last five or ten seconds of the voice and then play the music full volume. So let's look at the simplest way to do that in Audacity. There is more than one way to do this but I'm going to show you one nice and simple way. So here's my voice clip. I've got a voice clip in here already. What I want now is to bring in my music. So what I'll do is I'll bring in a couple of music tracks. I'm just going to drag in this music track here. So I'm going to zoom in here, show you that bit of music. So I'll go here. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to drag um, my music a lot, my voice along a little bit. I'm going to just trim this actually, make sure my voice begins right there. So drag it along just a touch. So what I want is for this music, for example, let's say that bit of music is just uh, solid right to the end. So I've got a 10 second bit of music. That's what I want. I want a 10 second bit of music. So I'm going to cut it to 10 seconds exactly. And then what I'm going to do to make the fade out is use the Audacity Fade tool. So let's say it's 10 seconds. I want it to fade out over four seconds. That'd be a good kind of ratio. So selecting the last four seconds of that bit of music. Then I'm going to go up to Effect and I'm going to find in here, I'm going to find the fade out. Fade out right here in the Effect menu. Click that and you can see it does exactly that. It fades out the music. Okay, so it plays full strength until about six and then it fades out over the last four seconds. And now what I'm going to do is use the time shift tool to bring the voice. So that overlaps about halfway. That would be my rule of thumb. Not the same for every single bit of music or every single bit of voice, but you can generally think that's about a good rule of thumb. Start fading out and then bring in the voice. If you're doing a quicker fade out, if it's only a one second fade out, you could almost bring it in right before, uh, right after the fade out. But I'm going to say, I'm going to start fading out um, and bring the voice in. You could even do it at seven, so it's kind of a little bit earlier. So, will we see how that sounds? Let's have a go. So, full volume music. Can you hear that right, right there? Hey folks and welcome to another episode of the Mountain Bikes Apart podcast. Comes in. And that's how you do it. Similar for the end of the track, except we're going to use the opposition tool, the opposing tool, the opposite. So I'm going to bring in that music. Uh, I'm going to bring this right along to the end of the track. Let me zoom out. So there's my bit of music. And we'll zoom in on that section. Uh, I'm going to just put my pointer there. So that's where it's... Stop it there. I'll bring this bit of music along here. So I'm going to do the same kind of overlap. I'll do a four second or a, a four second fade. So where are we here? 11.50, 11.51. So let's go back to about 11.47. So overlaps by that four seconds or so. And then I'm going to select that overlap. That's the exact overlap over the voice. Uh, the voice overlapping the, sorry, <laughs> the music overlapping the voice. And I'm going to use the opposite, which is fade in. Because in this case, we want it to fade in over that last four seconds. And you can see how it changes the look of it. So you have it fading in over that four seconds. On the outro, you can often have a much longer fade in. If you've got a nice long bit of music, you could have a 10 or a 20 or even a 30 second fade in where the music slowly, gradually fades in behind the voice as you sign off from the podcast. It can be a really nice effect. But we can preview this. Start with. But I won't go into too much. <laughs> um, and you've probably got more experience with it. There we go. And again, on the end, you might want to, at the end of that music, just fade out. Obviously, you can see that the music fades out a little bit naturally there, but we can make sure that happens with a good fade out like that as well. The other way to do this is with the envelope tool, which is this one here. Uh, I'll show you that on a different video. So this one really is just about the fade in and the fade out. Hope that was useful to you. If you do want any more podcast coaching, any more podcast uh, material, do pop over to thepodcasthost.com where we have hundreds and hundreds of free articles, videos, podcasts, 
all about podcasting. And we also have our Podcast Host Academy, which gives you live coaching, all of our courses from launch to monetization to growth, everything you need to grow a great podcast. So if you found this video useful, please do check it out. Otherwise, I'll see you over at thepodcasthost.com or drop a comment in below and we can have a chat. Thanks for watching.